Welcome, snooker enthusiasts, to a journey through the lighter side of the green bays. Today we're counting down the top 45 hilarious and unforgettable moments that make snooker not just a sport, but a stage for unexpected laughter and camaraderie. From feathered intruders to playful banter between players, get ready for a roller coaster of amusement on the snooker table. Kicking off our snooker spectacle at number 45, we delve into the riveting clash between two titans of the Green Bays, Mark Allen and Ronnie O'Sullivan. The tension reaches its zenith when a fervent shout of come on resonates through the arena, setting the stage for a momentous turn of events. In a delightful twist, Mark Allen, the ever charismatic Q maestro, responds with a cheeky thumbs up, infusing the atmosphere with a contagious lightness. This exchange becomes a beacon of camaraderie, showcasing the unique blend of intensity and humour that makes snooker a sport like no other. Venturing into the heart-stopping action at number 44, we find ourselves immersed in the dramatic tapestry of the 2022 World Championship. Picture this, a setting where precision meets unpredictability. In a moment that transcends the boundaries of the conventional snooker arena, a feathered intruder swoops into the spotlight, a pigeon no less. This audacious bird, with wings outstretched, daringly lands on the pristine table disrupting the poised battlefield between none other than Mark Selby and Jan Bingtao. The crowd holds its collective breath as this uninvited avian guest threatens to alter the course of the match. A mere flap of wings away from securing a 4-2 lead, the pigeon becomes an inadvertent protagonist in this thrilling snooker saga. Descending into the realms of snooker enchantment at number 43, an enthusiastic audience member driven by sheer adoration for the snooker virtuoso, Mark Williams. In an act that transcends the conventional boundaries of spectatorship, this fervent fan unleashes a torrent of love, manifesting in a gesture that reverberates through the entire room. The contagious wave of laughter that ensues becomes the backdrop to a moment where the barriers between players and audience blur, creating an atmosphere of unity and shared joy. Zooming in with anticipation at number 42, we delve into a moment that transcends the realms of the expected on the illustrious green bays. The stage is set, the tension is palpable, and the spotlight is on Morgan, a seasoned contender in the world of snooker. However, in a delightful twist that adds a touch of whimsy to the proceedings, an unassuming yet persistent opponent emerges, an audacious and pesky fly. Racing into the spotlight at number 41, Robertson takes snooker to new heights with a series of unexpected fouls. Watch as he propels the balls airborne, defying expectations and injecting a jolt of lively unpredictability into the game. It's a brief but electrifying escapade, turning the green bays into a dynamic arena where surprises reign supreme. Hitting you with a burst of snooker camaraderie at number 40. Mark Williams' playful shot mishap sparks contagious chuckles, turning the game into a lively exchange of banter between him and Holt. It's a brief but hilarious detour from the competition, reminding us that snooker is not just about skill, it's about shared moments of laughter on the green bays. Zooming into number 39, witness the magic of John Higgins, a snooker genius turned showman. Watch as he revs up his cue like a bike, delivering not just a game, but a hilarious spectacle that unfolds moments later. Embarking on the rollicking ride at number 38, we stumble upon a gem of spontaneity that adds a touch of hilarity to the snooker showdown. Picture this. An enthusiastic voice from the crowd exclaims, Come on, Jan needs to wee! A ripple of laughter sweeps through the audience, setting the stage for a lively exchange. Seizing the comedic spotlight, Mark Williams, ever the cheeky maestro of the Green Bays, doesn't miss a beat. With a mischievous glint in his eye, he fires back, so do I. The arena erupts in laughter, turning a routine moment into an unexpected comedy break. Descending swiftly to number 37, Gilbert injects a playful vibe into the snooker scene. The referee queries about the colour, and in a cheeky move, Gilbert keeps everyone guessing before finally revealing his choice. Zooming into number 36, Judd Trump's tenacity steals the spotlight. Brace yourself for the suspense as he tackles the cue ball ladder, finally conquering it after seven gripping attempts. Snooker's patient saga unfolds. Rushing to number 35, Mark Williams adds flair. His red teeters on the edge, and in a playful move, he shakes the table to pot it with a touch more gusto than intended. At number 34, Kurt Mufflin narrowly dodges a fine for a bold move toward the white ball, setting the stage for a thrilling ride back down for the black. Sliding into number 33, Liang Wenbo flukes a red and heads back to his seat, only to realize he's still in play. Number 32 brings us Mark Williams, putting the cue ball and amusingly conceding the frame against Robertson. Zooming into number 31, Mark Williams, miffed at Black's reposition due to a blocking red, adds a touch of drama and amusement to the green bays. Diving into number 30, Dale Jess' post-match loss to Ronnie 
takes a light-hearted turn as he tells the crowd about his potential. At number 29, Mark Allen grapples with a seemingly bent rest, humorously demonstrating its off-angle to the referee. Number 28 unfolds with a water mishap as Mark Williams humorously misses his mouth while attempting to take a sip. Moving to number 27, Judd Trump hilariously pots the cue ball off the rails twice in succession. In a light-hearted moment at number 26, Milkins amusingly imitates Mark Williams mid-match, trying to convince himself. Number 25 brings us a light-hearted chat between referee Olivier Martial and Mark Williams during the match against Ali Carter. Number 24 showcases Mark Selby humorously leaving the cue extension on and playing through the frame. At number 23, unexpected rattling noises from the overhead light during the match between Mark Allen and John Higgins have everyone looking up and sharing a chuckle. Number 22 presents Ding's comical reaction after unexpectedly potting a red, lighting up the room with laughter. Navigating to number 21, a playful misunderstanding unfolds as the referee struggles to decipher which color Lee is referring to. The six colors become a source of amusement, injecting humor into the game. Zooming into number 20, fate takes a twist as O'Donnell fouls, but the cue ball finds its way back home. It's a moment of boomerangs and laughter on the green base. At number 19, Ding adds a moment of laughter, trying to use exaggerated body language to influence the course of the balls after his shot. Moving to number 18, a light-hearted incident unfolds when the referee drops the yellow ball in a match between Mark Allen and Sean Murphy. Number 17 introduces a twist of humor as Walker makes a playful attempt to block the pocket against Mark Selby. Technique and applause accompany this light-hearted move. For number 16, we witness a delightful moment where Mark King humorously chats away and directs his advice toward the snooker balls. Starting with number 15, Ding's chase for a 147 takes a surprising turn as he flukes the yellow. Stunned reactions from Ding and Ronnie O'Sullivan make it a memorable and amusing snooker moment. Number 14 brings us Mark Allen losing his balance, disrupting quite a few reds. Laughter echoes through the snooker arena, turning a routine moment into a comical spectacle. Number 13 features a hilarious banter session between Mark Allen and Mark Selby in the 2023 World Snooker Championship. Laughter rings out as they playfully interact, adding a lively touch to the competition. Coming in at number 12, Mark Williams causes a stir after sinking a red. He picks up the cue ball for a deliberate foul, leaving the referee utterly bemused. Laughter and momentum build, showcasing Williams' unique approach to the game. Number 11 brings us Sean Murphy lightening the mood with his hilarious facial expressions at the 2018 World Championship. Laughter ensues as Murphy adds a touch of entertainment to the snooker world. At number 10, a humorous scene plays out with Olivier Martiel and Ronnie O'Sullivan hilariously attempting to catch a rogue fly on the snooker table. The entertaining spectacle unfolds with laughter and excitement. Number 9 introduces a cheeky moment with Mark Williams repotting the yellow that the referee forgot. A ripple of laughter runs through the audience as Williams adds his humorous flair to the game. Number 8 showcases a theatrical Peter Ebden pulling funny faces as he narrowly avoids fouling on the yellow. The unexpected humor makes it a standout moment in the snooker narrative. For number seven, Judd Trump playfully pranks referee Ben Williams with an exhibition shot, entertaining the crowd as frames are won. Number six highlights Mark Williams's humorous side as he goes for a double on the final black, cheekily potting it with his hand instead. Number five injects humor into the match between Sean Murphy and Mark Selby, with Murphy trying his magic to scatter the reds with a comic hand wave. Before Mark Williams humorously cycles through cue extenders, number four features a moment of hilarity as he suggests putting an extension on the extension. Mark Williams at number three adds a touch of green dot flare, celebrating a potted black with a funny gesture that even has the referee cracking a smile. In at number two, Mark Williams spices things up with an unconventional attempt to pot the black. At number one, the countdown concludes with a funny moment as Anthony McGill ends up climbing the table for an awkward shot. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the lighter side of snooker. If you want to catch more hilarious moments and exciting snooker content, click on the videos on your screen right now. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the notification bell and join our community of snooker fans. Cue the laughter and keep those balls rolling.